Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Born in Oakland, California, Curry is the youngest of nine. Curry attended St. Joseph Notre Dame High School in Alameda, California and California State University, East Bay in Hayward, California. As a child, Curry was a participant at the East Oakland Youth Development Center, a local youth organization. Curry's first role was in the 1991 feature film Talking Dirty After Dark, where he appeared alongside Martin Lawrence. Curry's first major role was on the ABC sitcom Hanging with Mr. Cooper, which made its debut in September 1992. On the show, he played the lead role of Mark Cooper, an NBA player turned substitute teacher, gym coach. Hanging with Mr. Cooper was eventually on air for five seasons with over 100 episodes. In 1994, Curry guest starred on the sitcom Living Single. In 1997, he made another guest appearance on the sitcom Martin. Curry was later featured on two episodes of the Jamie Foxx show as eccentric driving instructor, Sergeant Easy. Curry also made cameos in the 1997 feature films, Switchback and 1998 feature film Armageddon. In 2000, Curry had a recurring role on the Drew Carey show as Robert Solard, Drew Carey's boss. That year, he also hosted the Comedy Central game show Don't Forget Your Toothbrush and made a guest appearance on the sitcom For Your Love with his Hanging with Mr. Cooper co-star Holly Robinson Pete. Curry went on to play the lead role of scientist Norton Ballard in the Disney Channel original movie The Poof Point. The movie reunited Curry Hanging with Mr. Cooper co-star Don Lewis, who played his on-screen wife, Mary Gold. Curry was the host of the Parks TV show Animal Tales, and VET is coming to the stage in 2003. In 2004, he appeared on Celebrity Mall, Yucatan. He came in second place to Dennis Rodman. In 2005, Curry was featured on an episode of Less Than Perfect and guest starred as Max Cooper on two episodes of Fat Actress. Curry made another guest appearance on the 2008, made another guest appearance on the 2008 episode of the sitcom House of Pain on November 30th. 2008, Curry performed a stand-up comedy routine on the comedy festival La Fapalooza special, which was hosted by Tracy Morgan. From 2009 to 2011, Curry hosted Jamie Foxx, Fox Ho, live every Monday in the Conga room in Los Angeles, which was heard on satellite radio station Sirius 106 XM 149. In 2012, Curry joined Somor, Earthquake, Bruce Bruce, and Tony Rock on the Royal Comedy Tour. He later appeared on two episodes of The Secret Life of the American Teenager. Curry he also starred in Nick at Night, first ever original live action family sitcom, See Dad Run, which debuted in 2012 as Marcus, who is friend of Scott Bale's character. See Dad Run eventually reigned for three seasons on the network. In 2014, Curry joined Somor's standing ovation comedy tour along with Bill Bellamy, Tommy Davidson, and others. That same year, Bounce TV launched the sitcom One Love, starring Curry and Cheryl Lee Rolfe. In 2018, Curry was a special guest on the Cat Williams 11-11 tour since 2000. In 2018, Curry has also regularly performed stand-up comedy at the Hollywood Improv. Curry was featured in the music video for Two Shot, I Ain't Tripping. He also appeared in the music video of Bo Wo's Take Your Home, where he played a father trying to get his daughter a doll of the rapper. He appeared in the 2002 song Oakland Raiders by Oakland rap group Looney's, delivering a humorous monologue as the song faded out. Curry asserted his status as a pimp and stated his fondness for Big Dang. Most recently, he can be seen in the 2015 music video pulled up by Youth Dog feature Two Chains and Juicy J a tribute to the movie Coming to America on May 17, 2007 an aerosol spray dispenser that had fallen behind a water heater exploded and Curry, who was doing laundry at the time was burned on more than 20% of his body including his arm back and side. He spent many months recuperating at his home according to an Associated Press interview posted on CNN.com on February 17, 2008. Curry went on the Montel Williams show to discuss his recovery and mentioned he'd consider suicide after waking from a three-day medically induced coma but decided against it with the help of friends and fellow comedians such as Simbath and Bill Cosby. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe.